If you were to start a new YouTube channel, what topic would you choose? 24 hours in a prison or, you know, like surviving the outback or, like, you know, yeah. just experiencing things like, like that. Who would be your dream guests? One living, one dead. I'm going to say Jimi Hendrix. I think Steve Irwin. What inspired you to create this podcast? I remember, I, I, what I recall you doing is asking a few times or like mentioning it a few times. Do you think I was trying to weigh you down or something? No, no, no. I just remember, I remember saying like, I don't have time a few times. What's your <laughs> prediction for year two of the podcast? Cancellation. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guys become friends? Friends is a strong word. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm Adam. And I'm Josh. And welcome back to the... <laughs> oh, look another way. Sorry. <laughs> He's such a mess in this podcast. Are you keeping that in, Josh? Yeah, I've got the crew <laughs> Welcome back to the episode. It's good because I don't have like any weird like, non sequitur to go off on. So like, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it is the same week. And I went to the trouble of... Uh, Why do you keep bringing it up? Because those that are listening, it won't yeah, make pe sense. People would totally believe that as well. It's a different week because you always wear the same clothes. <laughs> It's not, it's not, it's not the same week. It's a different week. Uh, welcome back to another episode of uh, Yorkshire's premier podcast. I'm going a little bit wider scope now. You know, I used to say Morley. Yeah. It's, it's a really little market town. <laughs> um, I think, are there any better podcasts in York, produced in Yorkshire? Can you do us a quick Google search since you're doing fuck all, George? The, Sorry about the swearing. The, there's a, the, there was one called the High Performance Podcast, and I'm pretty sure they shoot that leads, and that's like a chart topping one. Oh, I damn. think so. All right, well, maybe it's second but, uh, most successful podcast. Definitely, mate. Definitely. More like a, something like 12th. But like, anyway, <laughs> how's life? How's the fam fam <laughs> how's your family? And uh, what are you, what's going on? What's up? What's up? No, what's up, mate? I'm, 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 I'm good. The family's good. How are you and your family? How's right, Mrs. Beard? Uh, she's doing. She's got a week off work actually. Oh yeah, very, she's, she's very, just been in the full day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's that's right. Yeah, uh, she's just watching. She's like, she's fully obsessed. You, you know, Stargate, that like old TV show. I don't think so. Stargate, no, Stargate no. SG. It's like, it, imagine it. Like the best way I could describe it is, it's like an American Doctor Who because it's like super budget. The same thing basically happens in every episode. Okay, yeah. But she she loves us. There's, there's like 400 episodes. Did you watch NCIS? Have you watched that? No. That but way, it's the same thing. Yeah, it was just like sheer volume. Yeah. Of a, of a, but anyway, she so she's just spending the whole day like just sat there watching, eating garlic bread and watching Stargate, basically. That's a good um, way to spend a week off work. You reckon? Well, if you're into that, I probably wouldn't. What's a week off work? What is that? What? what I don't know. What's, it's been a while what would you one. actually do if you got a week off work? Like just nothing, you don't have to do anything. I'd work, I think, because I, I hate <laughs> being idle. I don't know what I'd do. I'd probably just like train like a beast. Yeah, I'd definitely train every day. Um... <laughs> About it, I would have to. What are you laughing at? I'm gonna fuck you up, you know. <laughs> it was a good episode of the podcast last week, don't you think? I, mean, just... I find it very hard to like, come away from this and think that was enjoyable. But last week, uh, three hours ago, was, was, <laughs> was um, I think that might have been our best podcast yet. I agree. I don't know why. It was a bit of a creeper because I had not really prepared for it. And it took me two hours to build the studio back up afterwards, which were like. Arduous he loves so. to be a martyr, doesn't he? No, but this oh, fucking guy, this he's like, he's I like, you'll find I helped oh, uh, for fuck's sake. dress the background over there. You just, George put one of his tripods, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You're just lingering around like, <laughs> who, bought the, who bought the fucking coffees? You bought the fucking yeah. coffees, mate. You swore already. Yeah, stop, we're going to stop with swearing because I, I lasted a grand total of about <laughs> a minute last week. I'm not going to swear again. Uh, and I did that. We gave a, I gave a hundred quid. You you very kindly picked the Stroke Association as well, which yeah. you know is a charity that means a great deal to me. So uh, wait, if uh, another way to lose money, but like I'm, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, it's a fair cop, isn't it? Um, George, we get straight into it with a YouTube comment. It's time for a YouTube comment from you. Okay, so this week's YouTube comment is from Sam Palmer. He says, I think the forfeit for Breaking Beard should be having to present an episode of the podcast naked. I'm, I'm fully yeah, game for that. It's not much of a forfeit, really. Unusual Unless they want to see his willies, so because we'd have to like... Well, they wouldn't see the willies, exactly. Thing. But I mean, would we both be... Oh, so I, one of us is naked, though. <laughs> and the other no, one isn't but, naked. No, both of you, I think. Oh, oh no, yeah. Well, yeah, it's, it's a forfeit, one it's got to be one of yeah, us. Yeah. I, I mean, that's not even a forfeit to me. I don't, I've got no In inhibitions. In freezing cold studio. It's warm today now. That'd be, yeah, it'd have to be warm, but uh, and I'd probably have to shave my chest, which <laughs> Lindsay doesn't normally allow. But I'm, I'm all right with it, yeah. If I get a bit of a part, I'd have to get, like, get some like uh, 5K dumbbells under the thing. Let's get a pump. If there was a little Willy Warmer on, because he hadn't got his hat on, has he? <laughs> if you wouldn't see it, would you? <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be under here, so it'd be all right. I'd just be like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know if people would like that though. If, I like the uh, idea. If people want that to be the forfeit, 
Mitch, we're yeah, just getting naked and do it anyway. No. <laughs> You've, you've seen enough of my body over the last three or four days anyway. But so. you were talking about my package last night. Only because it looked like you stuffed up something down there. Is that a compliment? It was a weird compliment. And he said it in front of his sister beard as well. He's like, nice package. And I'm, I didn't say nice, nice package. Nice cock on you there, mate. And I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> it's average at best. Always, but, uh, always comes back to <laughs> knobs. No, but you said it. It was a really weird thing to say. In a room full of people. It was, yeah, all right. It was weird. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the comment, mate. So yeah, we'll, we'll get naked one time. Yeah, if people want that to be the forfeit, let us know if you want something else. Get in the comments. <laughs> Adam and I are both at that age where we do not give a <laughs> fuck anymore. Like, it's, that's, that's what it is, it is. I true. don't think I've ever really, you know when people like kind of uh, insecure about their bodies, but even like when I was not in, I'm not in great shape now, but like even when I was in like pretty bad shape, I don't think I was that bothered. No, I mean, like I'm not, you're in good nick though. Like I'm not in as good nick as you, but um, I, I wouldn't care anymore. Like um, I, I, when, I, when I was younger, I would have been more conscious. You're a, you're a dad though, do not you? Yeah, so you can embrace right. the dad bod because you are actually a dad. I want excuse. to be like the anti-dad bod. Like I I look at lads that I played rugby with and that, and most of them were bald and fat. So I'm yeah. like, if I'm, as long as I'm not bald or fat, I'm doing all right. So as I tick on towards 30. I wouldn't mind being bald. Nothing. I mean, I wouldn't want my chin to be bald, obviously. Um, but I'm all right. I mean, I'm going there. Have you see my hairline? R.I.P. <laughs> Sam's losing it, man. Day Brody, by day. Yeah, five head. <laughs> yeah, because my hair was like really tightly pulled back. It was like, like adverti- free advertising for McDonald's. <laughs> anyway, go on. Oh, right. What's the, what, so that's so the we, comment. What, yeah, what? so we've got the comment there. Uh, we've also got some fess holes today. Ah, God, you love this thing, don't you? I feel like we're going to get sued by I this love dude. I love fess hole. So we found three funny fess hole tweets okay. on Twitter. Yeah. Um, and I've actually got some glasses of water on the end of the table for you both. Oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit parched, actually, George. We're going to try and mix it up a little bit. Oh, for fuck. You're going to do with the innuendo bingo, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to totally... This is such idea. a bad side, yeah. <laughs> Full of electrical equipment. Yeah, this doesn't look expensive at all. So we've got to keep that in our mouth, I guess, and then, like, if somebody well, laughs... Move the mic out of the way and... Uh, I'll just point that way. I don't think we have this to This is going to be such a shit episode for the audio <laughs> listeners, but go on, then. Okay. We, have, we have previous slides. It's not as bad as a bug-eating one. <laughs> <laughs> That's been sat there for about six hours now. It's tepid, man. Probably got algae on top of it. <laughs> Will you tell us when to drink it then, George? Or? Okay, whenever you're ready. Yeah, move, move the mic out of the way. Move your mic. What? I was just going to point that way. Yeah. All right. <laughs> just point slightly that way. Don't have to move the mic. Mm. I'm going to have a little drink first, mate, because okay, I think okay. hydration's important. I drank it. <laughs> right, I'm ready. Okay. A few years ago, my husband offered to go out and defrost my car before I headed to work. As I was getting ready, I decided to watch some porn. (laughs) The sound on my phone wasn't working for some reason. As it turns out, the sound had played through my car speakers, (laughs) still mortified. (laughs) Ooh, we got through, we got through. I'll put some more in. Yeah, put some more. But that, that, I told you that. Josh blew it. That happened to Josh blew it. <laughs> yeah, I told you I that. I believe that one. I've said, you know, like, you know Josh well now, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And he did it at uni. He's there, like, you know, trying to have a, a quick one of watching his, uh, <laughs> <laughs> watching his adult content and it's going through its speaker in, in like, common area. <laughs> I can believe that. I, I, can, I can believe that one. He, normally, normally they sound like two. That kid's a character, man. That's, the, that's easy done, isn't it? Very, very easy done. Right, we ready for the next one? What? So I added this one in. When moving house and my ex out of my life, I threw our sex toys in a black bag. At the tip, a diligent worker came to check the contents. Before they could get near, I hammered through that bag of dicks up over my head and flew to the van. (laughs) Oh no. Okay, last one, here we go. Do you want some more water or good? I like to pretend to be dead when my wife comes home. (laughs) She tickles me and we both laugh. Now I'm terrified that one day I will actually die and she'll tickle my corpse. <laughs> Try too hard. Hey. Try too hard to keep it in. <laughs> You'll be choking for the rest of the podcast now. Well, I was laughing at that most because I did that one time. <laughs> you tickled his dead body. No, no. <laughs> no, I pretended the old lady on the street and I was like hey. <laughs> no, I was pretending you know on April Fool's Day a few years ago I yeah. pretended to be dead when Lynn's got home I laid at the bottom of the stairs in a bit of an unnatural position I think I might have a video of it somewhere it's on my laptop 
and uh, she f- fully freaked out and then she smacked me like about eight times when I when I started laughing and came alive. It's reminded me of that. If you've got it, you need to say that. I'll, <laughs> I'll have to try and find it. Oh, can you overlay the video? Did you see that thing I shared on Twitter of a week? You have to overlay this video. Talking about doing pranks and you, you miss this. I shared a video of somebody that had pranked the missus in a helicopter. We spoke about it last week. Oh, yeah. with the, the pilot The pilot presents yeah. and she loses a sh- like she's like we are gonna die and then at the very end the guy's like starts laughing i think that that's too i, I wouldn't i'd never do that, that was, i think that's, that's beyond the that's pale. evil i've done that before though in like a you know if somebody was flying over the grand canyon years ago and they did the same thing so really, basically yeah. just nick that idea right okay i bet it happens all the time i thought it was quite funny but yeah, yeah. I, I think the, the problem with that is like in a helicopter you think you know you've got no chance of survival as we discussed on last week's episode <laughs> <laughs> oh man i really thought i was gonna be able to keep my shit together then <laughs> I, I, I did have this mission when you said it then, though. I, I, I'd like to clear the corpse. <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever done that. You've ever seen a corpse? They're horrible, man. <laughs> oh, God. Let's, let's not go down this road. <laughs> I need, I need to feel something. I'm, I'm, I'm sort of dead relative. I didn't just see a corpse <laughs> in the street or something. You're traveling this weekend, aren't you? You go to the Czech Republic? Czech Republic, yeah. Uh, I'm. Uh, where, in Czech, where in the Czech Republic are you going to? Ostrava. Ostrava. Is that how you pronounce it? Never been. I've never. I've also never been. I'm flying into Poland and crossing the border down. Ah, that should be an experience. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, travel vlog, not for my channel, but for somebody else's channel, for Octagon MMA. Uh, they've, uh, Are you going with Brian? I'm going with Brian. You're, you're, actually, the trip is with Brian. No, no. Well, the trip when I get to it, Brian will be there. When I, I feel get like there. in my head, I've got like Brian's there and like a, he's got some like swanky pad that they just keep him in all the time. <laughs> Brian um, lives in Mallorca, you know. Does he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when he came all the way here. No, he was living in the UK at the time, but now he's, he, he's moved to Mallorca and then he just fly, he, he flies here twice a week, uh, twice a month, doesn't he? He flies it to, to us yeah. to record a, 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 a show for Octagon. I mean, t- it's two hour flight, doesn't it? Mallorca, it's not yeah, that far. But I wouldn't want to do it twice no, a month. No, I wouldn't want to do it. And then in between doing shows. But anyway, was, I'm going. When, when I used to, sorry, mate, just when I used to work <laughs> back at the bank, the, 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 the uh, fucking bank. The, the MD uh, used to fly back to Spain every weekend and get his hair cut. <laughs> Could you be bothered, man? That seems like it's the kind of thing you would do just so people know you're rich. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. okay, I'm going back to get my hair cut and play a bit of squash. Sod <laughs> off, mate. <laughs> anyway, sorry, go on. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to Ostrava. I've been uh, commissioned as a content creator for Octagon MMA. Um, obviously, I went a few weeks, months ago, weeks, two months ago to Bruno um, and filmed like that. a behind the scenes vlog for them, for their channel. They liked it that much. They're like, we need more of uh, Josh on, for the... Uh, British MMA scene. Uh, so I am, I am the, the British face. MMA scene. I'm the face of the casual fan of British MMA for Octagon. Well, I mean, uh, more, more money for, uh, for for your, you know, your actual business. Yeah, it, it, it helps pay George. Provide the backbone for the, for the this. podcast. And uh, it's enjoyable. I enjoy... I know having, you like your fighting, don't I you? I do like my fighting. It, it, this is a bit more upmarket than what I took you to at Barnsley Metrodome. That was some experience. Can you still yeah. smell it? I can, yeah. <laughs> It was all right Whoa. though. I mean, I, I quite liked that. I was impressed. But I, th- I literally thought it was going to be like a boxing ring or like a just a metal cage in the back of a working men's club. So it looked when well, I got it? there, yeah. the production was higher than I expected. You still need to take me to one of these big events though. I will take you next year. We spoke about it last day. If, if we can put any uh, meat on the bones of our idea of us doing a trip to, I mean, Germany. Munich is in February, I think, or March. How been in Munich. Be? Been in Munich. It's a very clinical city, but... Uh, it's got like cool, you know, food. I quite like German food and also yeah. the beer halls and whatnot. Maybe Munich's the one then. Maybe Munich's the uh, the trip. I feel like it would be a bit more, uh, in my mind, It's it seems like it would be a little bit, there'd be more uh, dread, a bit more threat if we went further east. So somewhere <laughs> like, I don't know, uh, do they have any like Kiev. S- Slovakia or whatever? And, you know, a bit further. Yeah, I mean, like I've been to Germany. Yeah. I feel like there's a bit, I don't know why I feel like it's more, not dangerous. That's not the word I'm looking for. But you know, like crossing a few more borders, yeah, kind of it, thing. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, you were talking about doing like a uh, like a documentary style, a docu vlog of us like going there, <laughs> which I think would be quite fun. I'd be up for it. We'll take his uh, Patreon money and buy like a battered motor, <laughs> a motor, up and just <laughs> what we're we doing it in seven years' time. <laughs> well, yeah, in seven years. <laughs> how much can you get? How much, I think you can get a motor home for a grand. We could, if you don't sold your van, we could have gone on that. Ah, uh, true. Yeah, had a carpeted rear interior, <laughs> or whatever. We could have slept in there. Oh, we can ask, we can borrow rate my takeaways. Reckon he'll lend it to us? Probably not, because you've like you've, yeah. you've not helped him out with any of his uh, uh, video stuff, have you? No. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll, we'll park that. <laughs> I think he asked you to, what code to upload a video. <laughs> we'll park that. <laughs> Moving swiftly on. 
Uh, have you got any uh, challenges coming up? What's the, what's, what have we got coming up on the old channel? Oh, I don't know. Oh, can what, I just what, ask, actually, on, on a recent video, which I'll have been probably two or three weeks ago, <laughs> uh, why was... Uh, I won't pay any attention. It's more like a, as a token effort, I'll stick it on. Oh, right. And uh, I saw the back end of it. Uh, you were eating something in America. And uh, <laughs> I thought my eyes had Someone's gone... I thought my eyes, my eyes had gone funny. Like, oh, you mean, why, oh, why, yeah. why were it blurry? Why were it out yeah, of the, focus? The, the one at Wolf Den. <laughs> yeah, it was a it, yeah, it was a video wolf then, and for some reason, like uh, Canon and Sony, if you, if you're watching, you need to like you need to set your camera cameras up so that the, the autofocus is great if you don't have a beard, right? You need to somehow figure out some software pack so you can tell your camera you have a beard, right? Because it it, it identified the barrel of a lens on the table, which shouldn't have been in shot anyway, but it was <laughs> just the edge of it. It identified that as a face instead of my actual face. So like it was, I shot it, thankfully I shot it at like F4.5, I think. Yes, yeah, so you had a bit of depth. So there was a bit like, if I shot at F2.8 uh, F or something, it would have been basically unusable. It was almost unusable anyway, but I wanted to put it up and I thought, oh, okay, I'll sell it because in the commentary I'll say, oh, it's fucking amateur hour. Um, but like the, there was a lot of, interaction with people in that which made it entertaining so right. I thought I can't t it would have been one of those videos that I think alright oh, I've messed this it's up gone. I'll tank it yeah. um, but I still put it up and just thought I'll lean into it and say did uh, you get many comments on it people complaining or I it? don't know I just didn't I, did I, look? No, normally you know me I'd spend a, a decent amount of time replying to comments but because of what we've been doing like this yeah. week and last week I've had like z li quite literally zero time barely had enough time to watch England the other night um, but uh, yeah no I, I, I don't know but like I can't do anything about it and I thought like it would it I've not noticed loads of dislikes, put it that way. So actually you can't dislike, but I've not noticed a, a reduction in likes. Right? Yeah. You have about an average amount of likes on a video. So I've not noticed a huge amount of those, but it, it happens. It's like when you, uh, if you go in a swimming pool and open your eyes underwater, that's what it looked like. I don't think it was that bad. <laughs> Just still the food was in focus. So some part of the video, it wasn't like all blurry. Like I put some Gaussian filter on it. No. Uh, but yeah, no, it happens now and then, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Right, so what's next then? Are we, we're going straight into the main topic of this? Straight into the main topic. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I can shut my laptop. When you say main topic, it's just a Q&A, yeah. Yeah, but it's exciting, The, the it? classic fallback if we've not thought of something to talk about, yeah. Yeah, but it is good. We don't yeah, do it like that it, often, yeah. I think it's uh, it's good. We get a bit of I still feel like my diaphragm's kind of irritated from, you know, swallowing that water. <laughs> Between that and breathing that cheesecake the other day. <laughs> I tell you, man. Okay, so we're going to start on the uh, Patreon questions. We put it out to Patreon and on Instagram. We're going to read all the Patreon ones now. So first Hooray! one. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> first one is from Daniel Hunt. To each of you, who would be your dream guests? One living, one dead. It has to be for the podcast in the audio sense rather than video. Oh, I love that. that that's a comprehensive. You've, you've been very clear <clears throat> with yeah. the rules there. Dan Daniel? Daniel. Yeah, Dan. Cheers, Dan. I like that question. We've been asked that a few times before, but I always kind of change my mind. One, 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 one alive, living, one, one dead. dead. Yeah. Right. Dead, I'm going to go with, uh, I think. I'm sure we've answered this before. I think so, but you, I mean, you, I think you change your mind a lot, yeah, don't you? Yeah, you yeah, change like, your mind. My, my, my mind's changed. Dead, late, I, I have, I'm have. i going to say Jimi Hendrix. Because I watched the doc. I mean, I, I was always, when I was younger, I was like a big Jimi Hendrix fan. Yeah. You know, I was like in my late teens, first started to learn to play guitar. Um, and I watched a little documentary on him the other night. Um, you just seem like such a cool dude. I would love to have a conversation with, with Jimi Hendrix. So that's a dead one. You give me your dead one so I can think of an alive one. <laughs> so my dead one would actually be, um, I think Steve Irwin. I just, Ooh, I recall really good so fondly of watching his programs and then like the, his son's doing it now and his son, I forget what his son's called. Yeah. Um, um, but I mean, Aussies are just like proper, like, like I feel that they're really likable characters. Almost always a laugh. Yeah. You don't, you never see a grumpy Aussie, do nah. you? Or very often, not very often. So, the, so I, and he just seemed like such a, a lovable guy, you yeah. know, for what he was doing that I think that enthusiasm would be so infectious, you know, if we got to speak yeah. to him. So that, that would be mine. Uh, yeah. They really got that one. Steve Irwin. I don't know who would have those on. Alive, tell you the truth. Um, I think last time you said like Edgar Wright or something like that. Did you I? Did, I've yeah. said Edgar Wright. I think I've said Daniel Day Lewis at some point in yeah. the past. I tell you, what, I'd really love to have a chat with. <laughs> Nobody's going to know who this is. I was thinking it the other day because I was watching Croatia. One of my favourite footballers of all time. Did you mention him on the World Cup one? Is that the one where I mentioned Nico Krancha? Yeah. Yeah, I would yeah, love so. to have a chat with him because, like, he was. I just. I thought he was an. A top class, but there's loads of people people I could pick. He's he's what I'm thinking right now because the World Cup's on, and it reminded me of how how much how how great a play was. Often maligned by injury and everything, um, and he's not on social media, so I can't ask him. But I'd love to. Um, if anyone knows Nico, 
<laughs> Let me know. I, we, we, I could ask Harry Redknapp if he still got his number because he used to buy him at every club that he went to right. in the transfer window. But um, yeah, that's. I'm gonna say that one today, mate. Um, just to speak to an athlete who I know is really articulate, which is not super common amongst them. Um, <laughs> what, what that Jack Grealish thing that can, uh, what, what did he say? Oh, it's something know. as. Uh, you know, oh, a slice. I, I got on a, I can't do a, uh, Birmingham's like the only accent I can't do, it, but like he, he got on a camel and the camel was bigger than I thought. Yeah, but I love Jack. No, but he also said something like as, um, what is it? As good as sliced bread or, but he said sliced veg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like on an interview. I love that because he's got- <laughs> Best things in sliced veg. That's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> I, but he's got that like thing like, you know, Mrs. Beard where there's kind of like a beautiful simplicity. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, not me, that's not me I don't want to like add fire just like oh f- footballers are stupid I'm not saying that saying when people are just they have like a purity to them like yeah, they, yeah. they don't spend too much time thinking about the, the depressing shit in life yeah. you, that, that comes across with Jack Grealish I, I, think. I get that but I think that we would both enjoy um, speaking to oh, I just thought of one as well go on say it uh, no let me, you All finish right, your I, thought I, I, I think we both enjoy speaking to McKinnon Peter McKinnon I just think like just as a he seems like a lovable Canadian dude where we can nerd out a little bit about... Nobody's going to like... For the, the sake of entertainment, enjoy. nobody's going to like that, though. Why? Because you're... Oh, what, you shooting this on... Oh, you're telling me no, about no, the No, 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 but I, I think it'd be cool to... Like, I don't know, I think it, he's done some cool projects, though. You know, I'd like, get him on, on the proviso we don't talk about cameras. You could talk to me a bit about being a magician yeah, or yeah, yeah. shot with... Yeah, that'd be cool. I was going to say, it's just come to me now because I just started rewatching. I know I'm, I'm, I'm giving you too many, right? <laughs> but there's a, there's a, t- a TV show... Um, that almost nobody knows of um, in the early 2000s called Green Wing, which was on Channel 4. And it's a, one of the funniest things I've ever seen, right? And the, there was a dude that played uh, the character guy called Stephen Mangan. And he's, he's on loads of stuff now. Like he presents uh, Portrait Artist of the Year. But he was originally, he was like a comedic like comed- comed- yeah, actor. Yeah. And he was so amazing in that. And I'd love to I'd love to interview him. I don't think that's like out of the question. Out of reach. Like if we were prepared to travel, I reckon if, if I'd like... Maybe not if I messaged him, but if you give him like a really professional look, Email. this is what we do. Yeah. We'd love to interview it. Adam's a big fan. Um, I'd love to talk to him specifically about Beca- that part. Make a note of that. Like, look, we'll send him an email, see if we can bring it to life. I, I just started re-watching it. I just, I, the green, it was a bit like 40,000 that they made basically two series of it and then right. ended it. But it's, oh man, it's so funny. You need to watch it if you haven't seen it. Um, if you were to start a new YouTube channel, what topic would you choose for your channel? Who, who said that question? Uh, David Norman. David Norman. Uh, it'd be something like I've told you before, like like experiencing things like we talked about, like do, not a documentary as such, but yeah. my experience of particular things. Like go if I could arrange it, like go spend twenty four hours in a prison, or you know, like surviving the outback, or like you know, yeah. just experiencing things like like that. More because a lot of the fun that I have in making my own videos isn't that necessarily the eating; it's the parts around yeah, it's that the story around it, the yeah. interaction between people, the story you build. So I do, and I think. Given how, um, what's the word? I'm, I'm a little bit green when it comes to certain extreme experiences, you know? That yeah. I think if I went into a prison and had to deal with inmates and like survive on like prison food and whatnot, I think that would be funny for people to watch. <laughs> You'd get shivved straight away. <laughs> you think it's yeah, well, your like confidence of, and of your ability to be able to be physical. As a, <laughs> I always think if I was in prison, I'd just, I'd be like, can you voluntarily go in solitary confinement? <laughs> just in a dark hole, just be doing like press ups all day long and stuff. That's what I do. Element, you. He's like, yeah. I'm, I'm at peace. <laughs> you would look like a Bron- you know, Bronson, uh, where you, you could do the full Bronson thing, shave your tash, you, when Tom Hardy played it. And yeah, yeah. That, that, you you'd look kind of like that i don't think i'd be quite that big though living off prison food yeah true that true that um my, i guess for me i would um it would be what i'm going to attempt to do next year which is sort of do a behind the scenes vlog style channel um for those that sort of don't know like my channel i've deleted not deleted but i've unlisted probably <laughs> i don't know fucking 100 videos there's, a, there's like 10 videos on there now which are all behind the scenes videos um like vlogs which are, for me are like the most fun to make and that's what I want to continue next year if I can somehow pluck up the time to be able to do it. I think with uh, George well and truly integrated into the, the squad now, um, it's, it's feasible. Um, but I just, I, like, I, I mean, I've spoiled, well, it's not a spoiler, like, there's there's a one coming, uh, a behind the scenes sort of look at what we've, something that we've done recently. Uh, and that was, was that, su- that's footage that you got is going to be, that's going to be I'm on gonna the channel. channel. Yeah, yeah. Get out of town. Yeah, so. How I'm, much you pay me then for <laughs> image <rights? laughs> But like, that's the stuff that I enjoy doing. And obviously yeah. I'm doing this behind the scenes. I'm doing the vlog for Octagon. So that's kind of like getting the muscles 
working again, you know, like it's been a while since I've done myself on camera. So that for me w would be what it is. Okay. So the next question is from Craig Shaw. Do you think YouTube is too much about making money and getting kids to aspire to be rich? I feel like there's too much emphasis on potential wealth and the creativity of crafting stories. Yeah. Yeah, Craig, I totally agree with you, man. Um, I, d I don't think necessarily that's, it's a bit of a catch-all term to say YouTube in general is all about making money. But I think a lot of what is promoted through the algorithm and trending and stuff like that yeah. does give you a lot of that kind of wishful identification stuff. And a lot of it's so homogenized. It's not necessarily to me that it, it promotes making money. It's about, it seems to be a race to the bottom that like everyone makes the same content and it's all contrived to be the most clicked thing rather than it being the most artistic thing. Yeah, like the the, the race for extremism of, yeah, of yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's, I agree Which with that. It's all right if that's, like if you're Mr. Beast, I'm not going to knock it because no. you've, you've made all these whack, like, you know, he's building, he built that like, squid, we talked about squid games in the last episode, yeah, yeah, right? That's right yeah. Squid game or squid games? Squid game. Squid game. Squid game. He like built that. So that would have been hard work to make that and then oh, a compelling yeah. video. But you know, when you see these drama channels and it's like, and it's always the same stuff, the thumbnails look identical yeah. and it's all about that person and it's spammed full of eight ads in a 10 minute video that I can't stand. And I think a big part of that is YouTube could get involved and say, okay, like they did about four years ago, we're going to start promoting like this arts and crafts channel or this guy, like when we had honor on makes like yeah, yeah. weaponry and stuff. Or you, who's that guy that you like does a car thing? Matt Armstrong. Matt yeah. Armstrong, you know, but he isn't trending all that now, isn't he? he yeah, yeah, he is. But, but again, he's he's, um, he's followed his own style, as it were. Like they are yeah. quite extreme, but he's respectfully built up through like, you know, building a, an Audi TT. And, you know, like he's, mm. he's all like, he's gone through, the, he's worked his way up the ranks. So I think that's fair. Cop. I, had, I had those videos that like, you know, uh, last, uh, this is, again, it sounds like I'm singling out Mr. Beast. I'm not, but you know, those videos are like, um, I'll buy you, you know, you get a million quid if you if you do this. If you take or, your hand off a jet, you win yeah, the well, jet. Yeah, last person yeah. to take the hand off the Lamborghini gets it. Like, that I mean, you can that, as one video. Okay, I get it. Cool, but yeah. like it, it becomes the point then that you've got so much money and that's that that formula that okay, person takes his hand off now. What like a Fiat five hundred and he gets it. Or you, know, you could yeah. do the same thing. I think what's um, like I think what you probably what what doesn't get told enough is the reality of like how difficult it is to just make any money on YouTube. So just mm. to get to the point of monetization is like the barrier to entry is very high. I think that it's the right thing for a YouTuber to have done because previously you didn't have to, there was no barrier. Whereas now you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours to get monetized. But when you click, you know, get monetized, you wouldn't believe how little money you're going to make. You know, even so like this podcast is a, a you know, lift behind the curtain. I think uh, in 12 months of us doing this podcast, putting out hundreds and hundreds of hours, it's made about 3,000 pound. So broken down is- It's more than expected but broken down, it's what uh, probably, what's that a month? You know, it's less than 250 quid a month. So that's the, <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's the drop in the ocean, isn't it? It's 250 pound a month yeah. towards four, us to sit here for over an hour a week, four yeah. times a month. Especially with all the kit as well. Editing, like it, it doesn't even touch the sides. And that's one thing that no one ever really tells you about. And Adam is earning a living now, but it's seven years of, like relentless graft, like that the people don't talk about. It's like, it's, you know, and it's exponential growth in it. So you, you know, for the first five years, you might, might have taken you five years to earn a salary, like what would have been a, a previous salary in your job. Yeah, yeah. And then, the, then the, the, the two years after that, you keep per persevering and you eventually grow to a point where you might earn more than a salary. So I think that, I think that's the problem. It's like, what is the reality of, you yeah, know. don't never start YouTube. I always say this, but yeah. never start YouTube with, with the intention, I want to make money from YouTube. It's got to be something you want to do creatively. Yeah. And if you're lucky, um, or if you work hard and you're lucky, then yeah, it's um, both, isn't it, yeah. then maybe at some point you'd be you know you'd be able to do it. But it should never be the motivation at all. Nah. Good question though. Yeah, solid. Next question is from I think it's Johnny or Journey, just J O N Y. Uh, if you were to wake up as the UK Prime Minister tomorrow, what would your first part of call be? <laughs> oh no, we promised we'd never talk about politics, lad. <laughs> this can be silly if you want. <laughs> I'll tell you what I would do. We'll keep, I'll keep this a short one, right? Without getting too political. The first thing I would do would be, as far as I'm aware, this is not in the syllabus currently, I would make it mandatory as part of high, uh, primary school and high, more specifically high school, that proper, there was a dedicated part of the day or week or whatever that was built towards explaining nutrition and exercise to kids. Because I feel like that might be part of like PE uh, curriculum yeah. if you keep doing it past yeah, yeah. year nine or whatever. But there's so many people that don't understand it. And I think that that's that being a, a, 
uh, mandatory part of the curriculum is the biggest piece of the puzzle to solve in, um, you know, like uh, obesity and childhood obesity specifically. Yeah. Um, but also that knock on, that knock on effects comes with parents. So if you're in school now, okay, it might not benefit you acutely, but like in years to come, you can only help generations that are following you by knowing, having the information, right? Yeah. Um, and I think I, w- I would do that. And I, I, one other thing I would do is supplements. In the supplement industry, I would make it um, incumbent upon supplement makers to prove uh, that they're, um, what their supp- the supplements they make, that they are doing what they say they are doing in advertisements. Yeah, rather so than like legislate being, it a little bit like, yeah, yeah. yeah I get that. And it, because like right now as well, it's, it, you have to, the, the F, what is it, FDA? It's not FDA. They have to prove that something, you know, if there's something dodgy in it as yeah. well, they have to prove it's in it after you've started selling it. You know, you should have to prove what's in it before you start selling it, you know? Yeah. Um, so th- those would be two things I would do, which I, I can be apolitical by saying that. Okay. Like, we'll keep it, we'll keep it brief. I think that first thing that, uh, well, well, something that's prominent at the minute is I would find the fucking budget to pay nurses what they should be paid, like in line with inflation and then some, um, because I think the state of, of the health service is such an asset for us. How the fuck can we not pay nurses what, at least like just to match up with inflation. I mean, the clap for the NHS thing were a joke at the time anyway. They should have paid them and supported them. So for me, that's one that's a bit more like personal. We we all use the NHS. We all need the NHS. If you need an ambulance, you should get an ambulance in good time. Find the fucking money, give it to them. So Corey Todd asks, do you both have a bucket list of places you'd like to visit around the world? That follows on nicely from the last one. (laughs) I, I, the risk of sounding boring, I don't really, I like that. I like the idea of like experiencing new places. One thing I would say is I would love to see like Japan, which is culturally very, very different. So you go through most of Europe, yeah. you can see a lot of similar things, right? Yeah. But I've never been to Japan and I would love to go. Sim, uh, same for India, I'd love to see India. Uh, so hopefully I could do that. Um, it would help me if there were some food challenges out there so I could make it a business trip. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'd love to go to Japan and India, put those top of my list. I like it. Yeah, I'd probably go uh, Far East as well. I've not been to the Far East. Um, so I'd probably join you on your, your trip to Japan. Uh, I've been fucking very won't. lucky. Fucking won't. Uh, I've been very really lucky to go to North America, South America. I've been to uh, all around the um, sort of Caribbean islands. I've been to Africa. So you've been everywhere, haven't you? I've man? been a lot of places. So yeah, the Far East. I don't want to go to Australia. No, I've never really it, been compelled to. The, the bugs, man. You've, have you ever seen that Instagram account? Nature is metal. Sorry, no. I don't need to. Move, I don't need to move on. But. <laughs> nature is metal. Nature, like yeah. Heavy metal, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but it shows you the, the reality of like nature. Uh, uh, it's it's core. Well, like Terrifying. animals getting like like zebras getting yeah, eaten by lions, and like you know them spiders. The spiders like this big. What they called like huntsman spiders in, in oh, yeah, with yeah. like <laughs> the running round wall. But fuck, fuck that Australia. We mm. never. I'm never going. I'm, I've never felt compelled to go. I have to say. Next next question is from Neil Owen to Adam. Really, after one of your recent videos, just curious how often you end up actually paying for a meal after you beat their challenge. All right. Well, yeah, I, I pay every time. Right. Unless unless the the service is really, really, really bad, which is very rarely is. Um, but just, yeah, just because uh, the way I see it, they're, they're like extras in the video, right? And well, a lot yeah, of the time yeah, they're yeah. independent places. Yeah. Um, so I, I would, I think it's just a nice thing. The to benefit do. is massive for them anyway, but like you might as well pay for the time and the staff and the food. You know, do you know what I mean? Like, so that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't like that question. <laughs> no, because I don't want to, it's like saying, it's like telling people you give to charity. It's like, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's like, like trying to say, oh, look what yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Next. Um, next question from Evan O'Donovan to Adam again. Fucking hell. What, <laughs> what amount of money for a shit. would you need? <laughs> <laughs> what amount of money would what? What amount of money would you need to be offered to shave off your beard? Oh, I, I, I wouldn't. This. There wouldn't oh. be any money. Oh, we, no. we, you've, said that, you've, you've said that before. Haven't you? You've said I wouldn't shave off for money. any money. I don't value money that much. <laughs> I love having a beard more than money. <laughs> much more. Also, I look really weird with that. I don't even know what I look like under here. I've had this for eight years now. Really? In, some, in fact, probably about nine in some capacity. Like it was shorter before, but I don't like it. I probably got all saggy skin and stuff under there now. Who knows? <laughs> Next question from David Lopez. Uh, would like to see a fair arm wrestling and Mrs. Beard back on the show. Arm wrestling with Mrs. Beard. Don't do it. No, because you can't do it. We've established you can't do it fairly on this table. No, because it's not. It's, we have to get, we'll get a special table in. No, I'm going to get, I'll buy a flipping arm wrestling <laughs> table with the, hand, with, with the handles on it. Yeah. 
Sound? Whatever, mate. Whatever. And then like... we can we can double it up for you know. Have you ever seen those slap championships? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Use the same. Just, I couldn't eat you in the face, mate. Love I too much. I'd I bet you could, but I, I couldn't. <laughs> eat you. I couldn't. Eat you I in love the face. you too much. Yeah, that, that genuine emotion. I thought. Oh, I, thanks, I, mate. We, might be, there might be all this bluster and stuff, but I don't really. You know, we, we're only joking. Well, I'm only joking when I say I want to do him physical harm. <laughs> Next question is from Adam. Uh, it's from Adam. From Adam. Right. Cool. Sweet. Nice uh, name, mate. To both. What inspired you to create this podcast? <laughs> Inspires a bit of a strong one. <laughs> we, we had a conversation about this recently, didn't we? Because we we've got like two recollections of how it actually ke- came to, to fruition. Yeah, we, grossly different. <laughs> recollect- I think I thought I had just said like, oh, it'd be cool to do a podcast one time because we were spending time, occasionally spending time yeah. with each other anyway. And I just thought, I knew, I think I kind of knew we could like bring it to life. So I just probably, I think I just thought, hey, it'd be cool to do a podcast. But I didn't really think that we would and then but your recollection is totally different you think i like sat down and said right let's start a podcast no i remember i, I what i recall you doing is asking a few times or like mentioning it a few times and then i even because i remember saying do you no think I was I, just, do you think i was trying to weigh you down or something no 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 i just remember, I remember saying like i don't have time a few times and then i will because i because i knew in my head that this is what i wanted to do it won't like let's do a podcast that looks re- like looks and sounds really shit it will like if we're gonna do a podcast <laughs> it's the effort to the effort that we have done for the last 52 weeks which is so you say it's my fault that you've got all this work to do now no but like <laughs> it's it's a big job in it like it if, is, if, yeah, if, yeah. if it's a, a full day well if it's at least a morning of film in a week and then it's at least over a day of george's time to edit it i'm, I'm conscious that we've only got five working days believe it or not yeah it um, does take some effort to produce and that costs money as well as we've both paid for like as we both pay for it so and the contribution of the patrons it helps subsidize it so so the real story is probably somewhere Somewhere Betwi- in the middle. Twix those two accounts, yeah. But we're here, we've done it, we've got it. I'm glad we have. I mean, if, if nothing else on the just a live show, that was a blast. <laughs> Next. Follow, following on from that question, uh, Conan Gavin, Gavin, uh, how did you guys become friends? Friends is a strong word. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Conan, that's a cool name. Remind, obviously, Conan the Barbarian. Right. The Arnold Schwarzenegger version, obviously not the Jason Momoa version. <laughs> um I, well, we did. We did. We. I met you. You used to work for doing like vlogs, yeah. like video content for a place that we won't mention. Um, <laughs> but I did that. They had a, like a, a burger challenge there, and I just turned up one day, and that's how we met, right? Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't know who you were at the time. Um, there was somebody who were like, oh, I, I genuinely didn't. They were like, oh, this YouTube guy here doing the uh, the eat the challenge, and I, I asked you who you were because I shot like a little behind the scenes um, for that. And uh, I had a look at like 200,000 subscribers at the time. Who is it? How long ago was that? Five years ago? Yeah, it'd been four or five years ago. Like, five years ago. It took probably. a while for me to get to a million from there, didn't it? It was weird though. Like when you look back and to think that I say it only, but compared to now that, you know, 2.2 2 million later. 2.37. <laughs> oh, you're 2.2 2 2 million yeah. in addition. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, probably yeah. right. Then, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, we met there. And then after that, I started a podcast um, when I just first started my business. Um, that was in a different place, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, different, different. It's good as one, it was here. No, different place. Uh, I invited Adam on, had a chat. And then, what else did we do after that? We did, I don't know how we, like, we must just, what? Maybe, <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. I don't know, maybe like we just stayed in touch after that. And then uh, you asked me to do the Christmas video, I guess, the garlic bread, which had been three years ago. Yeah, but I wouldn't ask you to do that, like, without some kind of groundwork being laid. I don't, I don't know. know. What, I don't know what happened in between that. <laughs> I don't, it's all the blur. Something will have happened in between that. Then we made the garlic bread song. Yeah, and then like um, we did, we did a couple more just things together, didn't we? That were because there aren't believe it or not, there aren't many people certainly that I know, or even like around this area really that are into this, that do this do, uh, that not use yeah gear yeah. and like shoot video and stuff. It's not really a because obviously I was doing my channel at the time as well, so you'd yeah. come on my channel a few times. I'd shot like a bit of I think I did like a behind the scenes with you. So that's where it's been. There's been collaborations of sorts, yeah, of of making content, and then we've got the music videos. Um, but like you know, like if you if you ever uh, end up married, but like at first we just like completely platonic friends, and then over time you were like oh, actually they're quite attractive, and then like you know slowly it grew something like that. That's the best analogy I could give. That is such a, it's such a shout. So we should have like a bit of definitive. I don't know. I don't know. I think we must have got like spangled one night. We've had like a night of passion, and like that, that's how we so got close. <laughs> And we just sort of forgot it. Well, we got uh, in London a few years ago. We got absolutely shit faced. Oh, didn't we? we did. Yeah, it, true, it, yeah. Summertime, drinking mojitos. You were drink. You were on whiskeys at the end of the night, weren't you? Something like that. Yeah. I'll so run. yeah, that's how it happened. And this is why you've got the <laughs> tram smash of a podcast now. of just two minutes. Feels shit. like fate almost. 
From Gordon Robertson to Adam, what happened to the unit? Only a couple of videos were made there. <laughs> oh, and when you in Middlesbrough again? Uh, to the first one, I had to get rid of it to facilitate go to America eight times a year um, because it was like I, it became very clear. I bought that like kind of in a, a bit of a panic, didn't I? Because yeah. obviously the, there was a whole like lockdown, out of lockdown, back in lockdown, and it was becoming very, very. It was basically soul destroying for me because I, I don't like to just sit there and eat food, right? That's not fun to me. It's like making a story that's fun, and I thought that would be a way for us to make some mad shit, a bit like not like epic meal time, but you know what I mean, like. Yeah. Um, that was the idea but then we came out of lockdown and it quickly became apparent to me that what people wanted to see was me going out to yeah. different locations and I wanted to do that more so I, for money's sake it was expensive so I had to get rid of it and uh, I'm not going to be in Middlesbrough anytime soon um, but that's not to say I won't ever come back I used to I've done a couple of things in Middlesbrough but there aren't really that many food challenges there anymore Swift uh, next question from Lisa Gahan, I want to say. Okay, uh, For Josh, how did you get into your current business from being in the Navy? Hey. We will get on to, we will do an episode on this. I'll tell you about the, my Navy times. It, it was literally one of those where it were almost like a midlife crisis at the age of, <laughs> I don't know, I guess I must have been Early 20s 25. Crisis. Mid 20s crisis. 25, yeah. Um, I, I just knew that I didn't want to go away to see anymore. Um, it wasn't as fun as it was when I was a little bit younger. And I was like obsessed with YouTube and I, I, like I genuinely I explicitly remember watching Casey Knight's that videos and going like, I can do that as a job. Naively, I thought, <laughs> admittedly, but I just thought I can do that as a job. Therefore I will do that as a job. Mm. So by any means necessary, that is what is, that's what I've tried to do for the last four years. Naturally to facilitate that, I had to first learn how to make videos. Then I was like, I can make money selling videos. <laughs> So that became like the business side of it. And it's only pretty much this year and going into 2023 that I'm kind of, and I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of doing the Casey Neistat thing. So like I'm now getting paid to create content of that style and obviously then launch my channel. So that's how it actually came to life. Probably took longer than I thought it would, but again, I wasn't very naive as to what it takes to be able to do it. And we are still well early in the journey, but that's the truth. You've done know? a great job, haven't you, mate? Try and great job. Try great job. Good question, that. That sounds like I was trying to be sincere. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Simon Cronin. What animal did either of you think you could take in a fight? <laughs> what the, the, Odd the, question. The most, uh, the, the most impressive animal I think I could take in a fight. I, I guess. Ah, oh, let's see what this fucking idiot comes out. Well, of. no, because I, I, I'm a, the thing that I definitely know I could beat in a fight or that I think I might have a chance of surviving against. Beat in a fight. Do you think you could take in a fight? Oh God, I don't know. I mean, like, what's... Well, let's, let's work up then. So let's say like a a, a, a a big angry pit bull. Like that comes out here. Do you reckon you've got a chance? I think I've got a chance, yeah. yeah. Because smarts, right? I feel like, am I, am I armed or just bit hand-to-hand -hand combat? Hand-to-hand -hand combat. I don't know. That's literally the extent yeah, we've, of the question. We've just built this out now. Um, yeah, because I think if I got, got a hold of it, if I, there's a way I could get a hold of it, if I say a leg or whatever, I could just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, this is a, a, an aggressive pit bull. I wouldn't just do this. I think I'd have a chance. Yeah. Although I, it's, I'm not certain I could survive. What about Santa Claus? Is like is land on your roof. Re, uh, there's a Rudolph the reindeer is really pissed off. It's like a really pissed off deer with horns. A reindeer. A reindeer. They are real, you know, mate. I know they're real. But I'm just trying to build so markets. It's almost Christmas deer? time. Why don't you say pissed off reindeer? It's Christmas. All right. Okay. Yeah. So you don't left a fucking carrot out for Rudolph, and he's pissed off. He's coming at you. No, it's, I mean, it's well, I mean, I don't know how quick and how uh, agile reindeer are. I think if I could get out of the way of its horns, yeah. I could at least evade it. What the, I'm going to go, we're gonna, we have to go through this pretty quick, right? Because I'm assuming there are more questions. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm going to say is, I think, what I always say, look, we had this big debate, right? <laughs> about like, w w Lindsay and I were watching that movie, you know, The Grey with uh, Liam Neeson. Yeah. And I said to her, I think foolishly, but I said, I, I'm not sure I could beat a wolf in a fight, right? But I think there's a chance I would be able to survive. I think possible somebody cleaning our windows yeah <laughs> wow. We're, i've been in the studio three years i've never i have never no seen way. we've got to see this the windows are being cleaned get the fuck out look I've how never... cru look how crusty that brush is though <laughs> he's not even doing a good job why is the window telling he's doing a bad job <laughs> <laughs> it, lad this he might be just doing this to put his kids through school <laughs> okay next question <laughs> 
is from Tommy. Do you have a PO box or plans to get one? The podcast? Yeah. Do you have a PO box? I used to have one, but like, <laughs> I don't know why I had it because it kind of uh, invites people to send packages, but I don't really want people to go that trouble. It's I nice. think that'd be a funny episode, wouldn't it? If but we could do it, like, if we had like a, a an op- your shit. yeah, it also, would be a funny episode. Also, though, when I had the PO box, they would they were terrible at delivering. People were just getting stuff sent back to them all the time, right? From Royal Mail, which obviously I don't want people to go through. Because I feel, to post. I feel like uh, appreciate the comment. But I'm pretty sure they're expensive to run a PO they boxes. Are. They were are they, super yeah? expensive. They're like they're 600 quid a year or something. They are wow. daft expensive now. I think that'd be as much of a mistake as trying to launch a coffee brand. Because <laughs> <laughs> currently it costs more for me to run the website for the coffee brand than the amount of coffee we sell. So I can't help but feel that the PO box would go out the same route. <laughs> Probably, yeah. No, I, I don't have one anymore. No, I just I don't want people to send me stuff. But it's very nice that people offer too. Next question is from Samuel Beecham. How long on average does it take to get all the camera shots, including drone views, set up and packing away for a challenge? Oh, you know, man, how are you talking? Um, it really depends. On, like the drone shots are variable because... You might buy them off Pond 5. <laughs> no, I don't, you say I do that. I very rarely do that. I only do that like if it's an absolute necessity, like the weather's so bad on the day or whatever, or I'm, I'm near a military zone and I can't fly it or some shit like that. Um, it, it Honestly, man, it varies so much, but I'm usually at in the restaurant all in for two hours or more very rare that i get in and out yeah. within two hours so that's if you say 20 minutes of that's eating a substantial amount of that set up I'll, sometimes it's afterwards i'll be you know a bit of talk and chat Ch- with the yada, yada, yada. uh the drone shot it depends on like how how much i need the, the drone shot to look good like for example the, the, that uh one i would talk, always talk about in canada you know you get spanked if you ate the burger yeah. i knew the theme of that video was or I thought it was so strong that I wanted everything about the video to look great. So I, t- I took about 30 minutes to get the right drone shot from the right place. Yeah. But normally I just wang the drone up somewhere. It's green, so it's legal. You know, I'm not flying it over houses and whatnot. And uh, I'll do like a slow push shot almost every time. Yeah. Um, and try and make it look as good as possible. But uh, I don't know, a couple, two to three hours Next from Chad Stevens. What are the best, worst, and most bizarre things you've seen when in America? W- weirdest things I've seen in America. Um, oh, I can I do mine? Yeah, yeah. Totally. So I, I, in Las Vegas, I saw a man um, rocking out with rocking out with his cock out. So there's a there's a fat bloke, <laughs> and he's playing a guitar, right? And he had like a he had his undies on, which were like a thong, and had a cock, you know, like a cock, as in like the the bird of a cock on his cock. And he was rocking out with his cock out. I love we can overlay it. I'm going to... I, saw, I tell you, one of the, that reminds me of one thing. I thought for a second there, I thought you were going to say he was playing the guitar with his cock. <laughs> no. I was going to say like, fair cop, that's gross, but it would be impressive. I saw in New Orleans, uh, there's a guy that um, dresses up as Darth Vader. I went there in May. It's baking hot. Yeah. Baking hot. He's in a full Darth Vader suit spinning like a sign with some I can't remember what was written on the sign that's yeah. how bad the advertising was but he's like he's got like a ghetto blaster like old school camera, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's spinning some sign around dancing all day long for hours at a time that was pretty weird um but there's probably loads of stuff I've witnessed and just I can't like recall top of my head but uh, it's seeing like it's seeing I, f- I find it odd seeing like weaponry in sporting goods stores yeah to me, there's a British, Walmart next to it. Yeah, there's a block of cheese. There's a British yeah, person. You've got, you got your Cheerios and then you've got like an assault rifle. <laughs> I find that a bit odd to, but for me, culturally. Um, but yeah, there's lo- loads of... Uh, and I mean, people do it in England, right? Go to Tesco in the pajamas. Yeah. But it seems to be more of a thing in America. Like I've seen people literally in Walmart, like in a dressing gown. Yeah, yeah. And like flip flops. In Florida, it, it seems like everyone just wears fishing t-shirts, oversized oversized. Yeah. Men, women, children, grandma, granddad, you name it. Everyone's in an oversized fishing t-shirt and flip-flops. Yeah, I've, uh, I've seen some weird stuff. I'll have a think about that. Maybe I'll come back to a, a later point. Next question. All right, so last question of the Patreon comments is from Michael Pine. For Adam, uh, what do you have to say about standing on your tiptoes in the picture? At the, live <laughs> at the what? At the live, at live event. event. That was like an in-joke. I wasn't doing it to like look tall. It was because he was watching me and like there were two tall people next to me. I said, hey, I'm going to get up on my tiptoes to try and get a laugh out of Josh. I'm not like, you're, you're the one that makes out. Like, I'm not one of those people that's sensitive about my height. I'm 5'10", five, 5'9". Five, to, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair. People like, said, fucking hell, you are actually going taller than I expected. I wouldn't mind. I, it wouldn't matter to me if I was 5'4". Like, I, think people thought that we were gonna, I think people thought you were going to be like the same size as Hasbulla at a live <laughs> show where I've been cracking on. 
I, that, like, yeah, I'm not, but I'm not saying, even yeah. if I was short, I wouldn't be sensitive about it, but I just thought it'd be funny. Um, the worst part about that is you could see like how skinny my jeans are. <laughs> like, I need to get some new jeans. All right, next. So it's time for Breaking Beard. Breaking Beard. Breaking Beard. So last week, uh, you guys went level on the uh, on the chart, so you're one step closer to the forfeit. And I'm about uh, to break. <laughs> Blinking pack junk yeah. for you there, people. Um, so this week we're doing the same sort of thing with uh, the different uh, categories. So we've still got TV, history, sports, science, literature, and music. Uh, three questions each. Who wants to go first? So glad geography's not in there. Uh, Josh, Josh can go. go first? Yeah, yeah, I went first last time. Right. What? What uh, are the options again? TV, TV, history, sports, science, literature, and music. <sighs> TV, TV. What year did the first episode of Coronation Street air? Was it 1960, 1963, or 1965? I, I would. I would have never have guessed that it even started in the 60s. Did you not? No. That, that's time. like that's bodes well for people like me who've got very formulaic content <laughs> you know you just keep they've been doing that for like 60 years now wow. so people might be still watching me and they won't be what are the options 60 60 63 or 65 <sighs> I've got a year in my head 65 final answer yeah it's 1960 wow I was gonna, I was gonna say 63 fair play man I can't say I've watched it's it Ken but... Barlow in the first episode as well I have no idea. That's a lifer, man. He's still doing it now. Well, I think I don't he's know. He's dead, I think. Ken Barlow? He's not. He sure. William Roach? I don't think he's dead. Is I think, he? I think he might this be dead, gonna, him, you know. This might ruin my uh, whatever day is Wednesday. Fair anyway. play, man. I'm glad he's still alive, son. <laughs> whatever, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so next question. Adam, do you want history, sports, science, literature, or music? Music. Music. Okay. This one would have been a good one for Josh, potentially. Bollocks. Glad I got it then. Uh, the <laughs> Your voice just break. <laughs> See, it did, yeah. It was about Machine Gun Kelly, yeah? No. Oh. Uh, pop punk band Blink-182 didn't always go by that name. What was the original name of the band? Was it Sourtooth, Duct Tape, or Whip Nipple? <laughs> well, I know they were called Blink before they were called Blink-182. Yeah, that... So, but before Blink. What, tell me the, the names again. Sourtooth, Duct Tape, or Whip Nipple. Duct tape. Final answer? Yeah, I don't know. It was duct tape. Yeah, I'd have guessed that. I probably got this from, I used to have that, that uh, um, uh, DVD, that, you know, about the, I forget what it's called. Apparently, <laughs> probably yeah. from that. Great apparently, story, that, thanks. Apparently they used to be, they used to go by duct tape and also figure eight until DeLong rechristened the band Blink and they were forced to change it again. So someone else with that name. So they Where just are you? <laughs> that was my Tom DeLong impression. <laughs> nice. Okay, Josh, what do you want? History, sports, science, or literature? Science. Science. You only believe in science. <laughs> What's that from? The Natural Libre? I don't know. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, how many teeth does an adult human have? Is it 28, 30, or 32? That's outside Morley. <laughs> <laughs> in normal adult humans. <laughs> 32. Final answer. What were the options again? 28, 30, or 32. Ooh, does this include wisdom teeth? Because if it's 28 or 32, they're your back four out there that come through with wisdom teeth. Not, well, I would take it as not including wisdom, because not everyone gets wisdom teeth. Oh, do they not? No. For example, I don't have them. 28 then? Final answer? Unless it's including wisdom teeth, then it's 32. <laughs> but yeah, 28. It's 32. So you're wrong. No. No, you said 28. Of course it's fair. Not that everyone gets a- wisdom teeth. I, I want a, I want like a, that's not fair. It's, the answer's 32. I, everyone you everyone get must, if you every, get wisdom teeth? No. Everyone must get wisdom teeth. They just might not come through. So then it's 32. That's what I just said. Um, this includes the wisdom teeth. Ah! What, 28 is including 30, wisdom teeth? 32. Yeah, so that's what I said. You said 28? Because you said not everyone gets wisdom teeth. Well, not everyone does get wisdom teeth coming through. No, but everyone gets the fucking wisdom team. Well, like you do, That's what I fucking you said. You can't say because Adam said this, I'm right. But I was right. I fucking said 32. Well, all right, Josh, you can have it. Yeah! I thought he might, yeah. Right. That's fucking fair. <laughs> Putting in those payroll That's perks, like facts. <laughs> so we're a 1-1. One, one. Um, Adam, what do you want? History, sports, or literature? Sport, please. Sport. Oh, bollocks me on history and literature. 
<laughs> this is the same as last time, I think, because they think they did the exact same thing. Uh, what is the only country to have played in every single World Cup? Brazil, Argentina, or the Netherlands? Brazil, I think. Final answer? Yeah. It is Brazil. And I only know that, I think, because I heard a commentator say it, like, in one of their games. Uh, I wouldn't have known it. I think I would have probably said that uh, Argentina otherwise. Don't know. But, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to get it right. 2-1, Adam. I'd have probably guessed Brazil. Out there, the most, like, decorated. Have they won the They've most? They've won it the most. Yeah. yeah. I think it's five times. Or yeah. Six. Five. Like um, so, Josh, history or literature? <sighs> history. How old was Queen Elizabeth II when she was crowned the Queen of England? Was she 23? 25 or 27? Ooh. Come on, you were in Her Majesty's Navy. Did they not teach this as part of the rules? You know what? I've watched The Crown. She's probably had one of them. Um, you watched loads of TV things, uh, like a, a Jubilees and all these things, but. Wow, I can probably work it out, actually. Jeez, try. You're like one of those guys on Egghead to like go on for like five hours to give you like one answer. Just tell us nah, the answer. I can't. 23. Final answer? Yeah. It's 27. Really? Yeah, she I thought she was like super young. I thought I she was much like, younger than that. If you'd have not given the options, I'd have said like 19 or something. Yeah. God damn. I believe George, though. look at you. He's fact checking you. Does he do this with your work when you're editing videos? <laughs> I know it doesn't because you uploaded that one a few weeks ago that repeated <laughs> in the oh, middle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all right, George. We'll let you off because you're handsome. She was 25. What says she was 25? Royal.uk. Mm, is that, is that, do we believe that? By the way, you're wrong. I was wrong, yeah, but what did I say, 23? But, but his answer, this, this doesn't bode no, well for 20, the rest. 23, 25 or 27, didn't he? He said 27. This is the problem we're getting trivia questions from websites. <laughs> you had one job. You had one job. You were fucking wrong anyway, so fuck you. He would have got it wrong, so. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> so, Adam, you're lumped in with literature now. I'm happy. I'm happy to. Uh, I do, after, after all, have a, a, a history of academia in the field. So, uh, when is the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone book set? When? So, when is it set? So, not when it came out, when it's set. So, is it 2001? Um, 1995 or 1991. It could be anywhere in between as well with his research. <laughs> 1982. Um, 1995. No, 1991, because I feel like she, like for whatever reason, it might end on the millennium in her mind. 1991. 1991, final answer. Yeah. It is 1991. Apparently it spans from 1991 to 1998. Ooh. There you go. So, <laughs> I mean, I win then. what score did we get there? So, <laughs> I don't know, you're fucking in charge. <laughs> I definitely I won by at you, least you, one. You got all your answers right. So, yeah. Adam is. Uh, I'm one further ahead. Right, you're, 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 I accept this. Yeah. You're obviously you're one With further. all the 12 of my wisdom teeth. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> if you could only listen to one song for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh, that is a class question. Who was that? Try and not overthink it. Who was that? Though? That's Just from what? Connor Watson. Connor Watson, top class question. Yeah, right? Obviously, it's going to be Who Let the Dogs Out by the Baha Men. It's been serious. <laughs> I bet you are. Right, because I got high <laughs> by Afro Man. <laughs> because I got high. Because I got high. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, that, man, that's so hard. This will quick fire. Just fucking know. spit uh, it out, man. What's a good song you'd like to listen to? A song called Lua by Bright Eyes. From Crafty Badger 86, what would your death row meal choice be for both of you? Hey, Crafty Badger. You better go first, son. Uh, I think I would have, on recent form, a chicken that chicken fry steak meal from Kendall's. Just that exact same thing. If you saw that video at Kendall's, I called the video the best yeah. food challenge I've ever attempted. That, just that. But maybe with like a, the real Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. Those were nice, but like I would have the big fucking fat Cinnabon ones. <laughs> and some cornbread. I think that came with cornbread. I'll show up now. <laughs> no, no green beans. <laughs> no mushrooms. No, no, no black pudding. Uh, mine won't be as elaborate. He's the food guy. It doesn't really matter what I say. Fucking Nando's chicken thighs. Nando's. You love Nando's, yeah, don't you? You want some Nando's uh, brand deal? <laughs> Let's go. Towel92 says, what's your <laughs> prediction for year two of the podcast? Spotify deal, big guests, Adam growing. 
<laughs> I think Mean Girls. Not a chance, are, yeah. Mean Girls are most like. Can I have a fourth option? Cancellation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you ask, if you're talking about likelihood. I think I was going under or going straight into the red to the extent that we can't continue anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for Baroque in 23. If we get that new studio, like... Hopefully we get a few more, like... I, I like some of the ones with the guests. Right? Yeah, it's, it's fun. It's, it's fun, which is yeah. me, but it would be nice to get some more, like, interesting people. I don't care really what they've done, but some, some more, not necessarily famous people, but, like, interesting folks. Yeah. That's, that's my aim, anyway. A uh, question from Carly Rose. This is for both of you. What is your favourite childhood memory? Oh man, uh, my favorite childhood memory is just is really simple. It's my um, my dad used to take you know when you put kids on your shoulders, and that's like I must have been like young as as hell. But you he used to put my shoulders and walk around as a field near where I used to live. And I remember that in like a you know a summer's night about like nine o'clock, sun's just setting, and he would sing that song Benny King, which I mentioned on the music video, yeah. you know, Stand by Me. And I just remember it's just like one of my oldest memories. You're not know, feeling of like kind of complete safety and whatnot. You just hold up my dad's massive ears <laughs> while he's just taking me around. That's probably my favorite, one of my favorite, the first one that comes to mind for me. That's nice. That was very nice. Uh, one of mine, I guess I spent, um, my, my granddad, um, we, I, I used to spend like, all my summer holidays with my granddad. Um, and we used to go walking across like near a dam in Click Eaton. Uh, and we, you know, we either go fishing or he'd make me like, um, what do you call it? Uh, catapult. Catapult. We'd have like, catapults. That's nice mine, mate. Yeah, we'd be good I mean? at mine. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, and just knocking about with him again, like in the summer, we'd just like be walking up and out fields and, and be telling me tell simple our tale. Simple um, as is what we are. That was fun. But yeah. Uh, another question. Brahman91. Who would win in a left hand arm wrestle? Oh, I don't know. Can we do that? I bought it up for you, mate. You're gonna have to cut that out because that were a massive advantage to our dad. Like the first one. And you didn't catch me dragging my arm off. Ah. There? There? You can pull my arm. <laughs> <laughs> that was a one red man. <laughs> we can put that through the uh, the official thing, but I'm pretty sure I started like there. Like I did the first time around, yeah. so it's even now. We'll get, I'll get that arm wrestling table, we'll put it in the back. <laughs> you're alright, you've got a bit pale. <laughs> All, all the blood just went to the left arm. Are you look at you look like you don't know what's gonna happen. That's because I've not eaten, man. I need to eat something. You do look a bit pale though. You kind of look weird. I know. I look washed, man. I've like, I've, I've not eaten for eight. I'm not, not last. Oh man, I didn't eat much yesterday. Yeah. Right, come on. Uh, this next question from. <laughs> <laughs> this next question is uh, from George Hodgson. Would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm not answering it. <laughs> Keep it in, just bleep it out. Let's see if people can suss it. <laughs> Next question. Greziek Sivek. That's the best I can wow. do. This is a question for George, which is why I'm reading it. And George couldn't pronounce the name. Uh, actually, this question is for George. What was the hardest episode to edit? Probably the uh, the recent Insects and Bugs one. That was a tough edit. <laughs> yeah, because you were trying to make it appeal to people that listen yeah. rather than watch. Yeah. Shall That's... I just blast through a few of these now? Yeah, go on, blast go it. For it. What happened to the Les Dennis at the start of a challenge? Um, it's not like I didn't uh, I didn't just want to stop doing it. I just forget a lot of times I've got like six cameras now. And if I remember, I feel like now it's more special when I do say it because I don't say it in every episode. <laughs> uh, how long have you been, two been friends? Too long. Uh, <laughs> what dogs are you guys spiritually? I'd be little, like one of those little ones that I say. I don't know dog breeds, but that one with the moustache. Uh, Yorkshire Terriers, yeah. they're kind of little and feisty. What would you say I am? One of those lanky- Whippet. Uh, a whippet. A whippet, yeah. Right, I'll take it. All right, okay, I'll do one more then, and then I'm, I'm off to go eat a salad. Who can handle their drink better out of the two of you? We're both pretty soggy. I used to be quite good, like when I drank a lot when I was younger. Um, I've never seen you drunk, so I have to say you're probably better because I, I have been- I, I do get drunk on a rare occasion to go out. Yeah. I'm, and you're a sailor, so uh, I would have thought like that's some, I don't, yeah, in, I, you're I, impervious to it. Or I'm not Tito. I just don't drink often. Um, but we will find out. It's probably a good way to close this episode. We are going to do a Christmas special episode. Are where we doing that or we drink? Yeah, we we're going to drink. We drink. We drink. <laughs> and uh, let's just, uh, we'll see what happens. That'll be the hardest edit for George as well. <laughs> after the fact. <laughs> when he's trying to, I'll just be throwing, <laughs> throwing empty bottles. <laughs> Shut up, George. There'll be no podcast left after we've said everything that's cancelable. <laughs> I'll just get like so pissed. I'll just forget to switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Is that it? That's it. That's a wrap. Thank you so much to all, everyone that put in a question. I know we didn't get through them all. We got through all the Patreon ones. So thank you so much to everybody that's supporting on Patreon. It means a lot. We are trying to go ham next year. Um, and yeah. We'll uh, catch you next week. Thanks for watching. Sorry it wasn't as good as last week's. <laughs> <laughs>